Sometimes you need to edit and format the look and feel of your widget. To do this, when you're creating the widget, you can either go to the advanced configuration or you can go to an existing widget and click on the edit icon, the pencil, and open up the formatting window. The formatting window has the data elements to the left and the formatting design and filter elements to the right. So in this case we're using age range. I can choose which categories I want to exclude from the widget. And I can change the color settings. So I click on it and I can choose the specific color for a segment. I can also rename the actual field or delete this entire category and start again with a different one. Here viewers can select commonly needed drill down paths if such drill hierarchies were created by the dashboard designer. We'll discuss this in another video. On the right side I can choose factors related to the look and feel. The options differ according to the particular widget I'm working on. In this case we have a pie chart. So I can select different formatting options. I can also choose to show or hide a legend and where it's placed and I can set whether I want labels as well. In addition to this, I can add filters to the widget. So if I have any dashboard filters, filters that should apply to all the widgets in my dashboard, I can select whether to apply these dashboard filters to this particular widget. Alternatively, I can create filters that would only apply to this particular widget. We'll discuss this in another video as well. Lastly, I can change the widget type. So here I have a pie chart, but I may be interested in a column chart. So I can simply switch its widgets type. Notice now that I'm on a different widget. Slightly different formatting options are available. So in this case, I can choose the layout of the X and Y axes if I want to show value labels, and in addition, on the data layout section on, on the left side, I can also select additional fields that I want to represent in this visualization. So for instance, if I want to use another factor, I can simply click Add, and we can select another element. So over here, we can break down by gender in addition to age range. In the Filters panel, I can define how the widget responds to a selection. I can choose to highlight the selected elements, or to filter it to the selected elements. When I'm happy with my widget, I can apply it to my dashboard. Finally, on the top right, I have some additional options, so I can download the dashboard as an image or download it to CSV. Here I can edit the script if I want to access more advanced features using JavaScript, and I can also determine whether the widget itself is something that can be interactive. So the advanced configurations give you a lot of options to select fields, the options, and the data sources that will be represented in the widget how you want this widget to look, the formatting and design, and lastly, select the filters that should be applied to the widget. For more information, see our online documentation.